New York Republican Congressman John Katko sits on the Homeland Security ranking member there. Congressman, we're told that this isn't over, as Bill was touching on here, that the CPB um, didn't go far enough and this investigation didn't reach far enough and that some individual members, even though, um, you know, the, 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 as a group they've been exonerated, could be targeted for further punishment. What do you think? Yeah, Neil, this is a colossal reach from the get-go. And, you know, I was a federal organized crime prosecutor for 20 years. And in fact, I worked on the border. I worked with these people side by side, and they risk their lives every day, and they follow the orders. They were placed into the situation because of this administration having an open border policy. They weren't even trained in crowd control on horseback, yet they told them to go there. Then they were exonerated, and yet from the beginning, they've been convicted in the court of public opinion by the president and the leadership at Homeland Security. And they had to do something to justify the fact that uh, they were found innocent. Of, of the charges of strapping and whipping people. They weren't. So now they, they, they concoct this 500-page report to trash these people. And, and uh, at this point, I'm not sure any Border Patrol agent would ever do anything to try and stop the flow of people coming across the border, because if they do, things like this happen to them. It's a terrible situation. We're showing the border right now, and it's hardly back to normal or whatever normal is. So obviously, such incidents are continuing, not the horse uh, incidents here, but, the, the, you know, it, more trying to, to break through that border. And now we're told that it's possible that uh, the CPB can no longer, uh, you know, use horses in the pursuit of migrants in an area uh, where, say, four wheel drive vehicles, um, even they have a tough time through some of this geography. And I'm, I'm wondering then what? No, Neil, it is all they're doing is peeling back more and more the ability of the uh, Customs of Border Protection to do their job. And it's demoralizing to them. It's more dangerous to them. And you're right. A lot of these places in the brush, the only thing that really works is horses. And by the way, they're saving lives every day, which no one knows about. They're saving tons of lives of people that are stranded out in the middle of the desert. And they do it because they're on horseback patrolling. And now they're going to peel that back. This, this agency and this administration has created an epic disaster at the border. And not only are they creating a disaster, now they're going after their own, which is, to me, just reprehensible law enforcement or lack thereof. You know what's wild about it, regardless of your views of the subject, Congressman, we are going after the people who are trying to protect <laughs> the border than we are yeah. addressing the, the havoc at the border. It just seems kind of ass backwards. It, it, uh, absolutely, Neil. And think about this. They started this whole crisis with the just stroke of a pen on January 20th of last year when Biden rolled back on many, many policies and signaled that the border was basically open. They said so because they thought it was just the Northern Triangle folks coming across and people from Mexico. Well, that's just not true. Bad guys across the world are exploiting the Southern border. We've had 50 people on the terror watch list that have been seized, which stands the reason that at least that many have come through this year, which is multiple times more than ever before. You've got people from 160 different countries being caught at the border. And, you know, the gotaways are, are skyrocketing, numbers are skyrocketing. And, and what are they doing? They're going after their own. I think this is disgraceful. I really do. And I've been in law enforcement an awful long time. Yeah, and that perspective is valuable, Congressman. John Ketkow, the New York Republican, sits on the House Homeland Security uh, Committee. We'll be getting updates on this. But again, for a lot of people just looking at it like, wow, uh, we're pursuing the wrong folks. We'll be on top of yeah, that. Indeed. Stay on top of that. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.